What's up guys welcome back to 25th part of make your Android application tutorials. In this video we will continue our application development of Android interview. Now inside the Eclipse in the last video we typed all these codes right in both simple questions Java and tough questions Java. Now what we're gonna do we are going to initialize all the three buttons and all the four text views inside our simple questions Java. Fine. So let us initialize first our text view. Let's say TV question, TV answer, TV total length, underscore YY, then TV present index, underscore XX. Fine. Now let us initialize the three buttons B left, B show, B next. Fine. Now let us complete our initialization TV question find view by ID R dot ID dot TV question fine now similarly TV answer now here I have completed the initialization of of all the text views out here now let us complete the initialization of our buttons let's write B left Now guys, so finally we have completed our initialization of text views and buttons. These are the codes where I have initialized the text views and buttons. Now let us make some changes. I think B left, B show and this should be I think B right. To avoid any confusion guys, please make sure you name your variable in such a way that you recognize which variable represents what button. This B left I have named for this button then B show answer when user will click on this button then it will show the answer it is a right arrow button so I have named it as what B right now guys do one thing let us implement our on click listener for our button implements on click listener fine now let us implement the methods now here we go our method has been overrided remove this garbage now do one thing let us set the on click listener context this b show dot set on click listener context this then again b write dot set on click listener fine we have implemented the on click listener out here and we have overrided the method out here and we have set the on click listener on all the three buttons fine now inside the on click let us do one thing let us write the switch case statement inside the key let's write v dot get id fine we all are familiar with what i am doing right here now r dot id dot b left case r dot id dot b show fine then again break b right so finally we have completed our switch case statement also now guys the same codes I have to repeat inside the tough questions dot Java also so what we are gonna do just copy all these initialization control C control V fine now again copy all these initialization control C control V then after that set on click listener copy it and paste it here fine now again do one thing copy the on click method control V now save it it is going to show errors this is because guys we I have not implemented the on click listener inside our tough question activity tough question class here I have to implement that interface on click listener fine now let's save it now we are free of all the errors our basic structure of simple questions or Java and tough questions of tough questions or Java has been completed right we have initialized all the variables all the widgets set the on click listener and overrided the on click method. 
Now here we will provide the functionality to all these three buttons. Now guys as you can see our codes are looking quite messy. So later on if you want to debug your code so it will be quite difficult for you to recognize which statement stands for what. So what we are gonna do we are just going to add the comment lines in, in case of every modules of these codes. Suppose from this part to this part we are having initialization of text view and buttons. So let's do one thing add a comment initialization of text view right copy it and paste it here initialization of buttons fine now here let us add the statement importing the string array from values folder so later on if someone reads your code or you yourself reads your code then it will be easy for you from where you are decoding the string array here I have written importing the string array from the values folder so you will simply go to what resources values folder and there you will find all the XML files containing these array simple question and simple answer so it will be quite easy for you to remember what code you have written here right now here on click listener for three buttons so our codes are now looking quite structured and organized you can differentiate which code stands for what purpose now guys let's continue our coding here I have to initialize an int index now why I'm doing this I'm just telling you int index now let us initialize our index to 0 so whenever this activity is created whenever on create is called the index variable will be initialized to 0 fine so the purpose of index is actually to set the values of this xx and yy now how we are going to set the value I will just show you now when the activity is created then the first question this question text view will be replaced by the first question right and this text will remain as it is fine and the xx will turn to 0 1 and yy will turn total number of questions available in the simple questions dot xml fine so what we are going to do tv tv question dot set text now we have to set this question as a first question right so what we are gonna do we just have to type what simple question and give the index as what index so when we are going to run our application this question text view will be converted to the very first question of the simple questions array so our first element of the simple question array is having the index 0 so simple question having the index 0 will be set to this text view TV question so user will be able to see the first question appearing in front of him similarly guys let's write TV answer dot set text now here let's write simple no guys what I want when the user will run this application this the first question will be displayed and this text view remain as it is press a button for the answer so when the user will press this button then this text view will be dynamically converted into the first answer which is the answer to this question right so I am just doing what press a escape character answer press a button for the answer after that the rest of the two text view tv present index dot set text now do one thing let's write index plus one fine our index value is what zero so zero plus one is what one so as soon as the application is run by the user then xx will be converted into 1 because we have to display the user first question not the zeroth question from the developer point of view right from the user point of view we have to display 1 slash number of total number of questions right now this index is actually what an integer so now this set text actually requires a car sequence so what we are gonna do we have to parse this integer into the string value so let's parse it string dot value of 
here lots of parsing values are here we have to parse the integer into string so let's select this one right now inside the value write index plus one fine so here we go we have successfully transformed this integer index plus one that is the value of one into the string value fine now let us do one thing tv total underscore yy dot set text then again we have to parse it string dot value of integer now here the integer value what we have to give total length of number of questions so let's write what simple question dot length so this simple question dot length represents to what length of this simple question array suppose this simple question is having 50 questions so this whole value will be evaluated to 50 so finally in place of yy in place of yy we will be able to see what 50 so as soon as user will run the application this text view will be converted into 1 slash 50 1 represent the question number and why I represent what total number of question one out of 50 now when user will press this button right side then xx will be incremented to 2 and the y will remain as it is and the question out here will also change fine so for that we have to add the functionality inside the b left b show answer and b right that we are going to do in the next tutorial now as of now let's copy this let's cut this index equal to 0 and paste it here now add a comment line setting values to our variable and four text views so please make a habit guys whenever you code please use the comment lines it is very very necessary and recommended approach because this is the application for the beginners and our code is quite small and if you develop a major application then it will require thousands of codes in one activity so in that case if you don't use the comment lines it will be quite hectic for you and quite pathetic for you to find the error and fix it always make a habit to use the comment line we will continue our coding in the next video guys so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel and please leave a comment below my video and do like and share my video. This is Shrakes from Smart Heart signing off. And thanks for watching. Have a good day.